welcome back to my channel it's Ray if you're new here welcome today I am going to be doing another review this one is going to be on the Annabelle's perfect blend line so what I've done which I don't normally do is washed my hair and now I'm coming out here to deep condition I usually do my deep conditioning in the shower but again I am going to come out here and do the deep conditioning because I want you guys to see how the product performs in my hair, see if it soaks in and things of that sort. I do want to let you know that I am low porosity, so products always work better in the shower for me. But for you guys, I'm going to do it outside the shower. So before I apply the deep conditioner, let me give you some ingredients and read about it a little bit. So I'm getting ready to apply the Annabelle's Perfect blend green tea milk and honey moisturizing mask it is eight ounces first five ingredients water caprolic capric triglycerides say that three times caprolic capric triglycerides behentrimonium methyl sulfate cetyl alcohol and grapeseed oil so that's the first five ingredients it also does have some shea butter in here as well as some other um, extracts, goat milk powder, honey, so forth. I do not see any protein in here. It says to use weekly for an intense conditioning experience. Apply a generous amount of conditioner to hair. Leave on for 10 minutes or longer, then rinse thoroughly. So it does say you can use it weekly and it is filled to the top a thick but creamy consistency it feels very creamy feels really good to the hands it smells good it has a sweet smell to it, it has a very pleasant smell to it so I am going to take off this and I am dripping so excuse me, I try to keep my hair as wet as possible. So I'm going to start in the back, but this is what my hair looks like with no product on it at all. So let's just go ahead and start applying the deep conditioner. So I'm gonna take about that much, rub it in my hands. You can feel the oils in it. All right, let's keep going. This consistency is very much a soft whipped cream consistency, very light. And I can tell because when I'm applying it to my hair, I don't feel like it's weighing it down. I don't feel like it's giving definition to my hair like I get sometimes with other deep conditioners. It's just pretty light and fluffy. So. Very light. 
very light. So. Gonna twist this up and move it on to the front. I will say that it does have um, some slip to it. I'm able to kind of rake it through my hand, my hair pretty easily. However, my hair um, was detangled. I detangled it in the shower um, with my cleanser that I used. And I used a clarifying co-wash. If you want to know what I use, I use the Honey Cleansing and Clarifying Co-wash and I'll talk about that in a different video because this is about Annabelle's. What I'm gonna try to do with this one, which is what I try to do with my, uh, she sent it, but I kind of got mixed up, is I'm going to try to, after I apply this, I'm gonna sit under the dryer and then I'm gonna rinse it, try to come back and show you what it looks like if it's seeped all into my hair. And then once I rinse it out, I'm gonna try to come back and show you what my hair looks like after it's rinsed out. I wanted to do that in a previous video, but I'm so used to putting my stuff on in the shower. When I got in the shower, I just moved right on to the leave-in and wasn't able to, so I'm gonna try to remember to do that. And as a matter of fact, I think I'm gonna leave my leave-in up here so I can make sure that I come back. So you can see a little bit of white residue, uh, not really residue, but whiteness from the deep conditioner. But I am going to sit under the dryer, like I said, for about 30, 45 minutes. And then I will come back and show you how well this has uh, seeped into my hair, if it has at all. And uh, then I'll rinse it out and I'll come back and show you how it is rinsed out. This is how much I used. So, out right to here so I probably got another couple uses out of this um, but yeah let me go ahead and put on my cap and you know me I double my caps because I don't want to I want to make sure everything gets and no hair escapes all right I'll be back 
Okay, guys, I am back. Okay, it did soak in a little bit. Not as much as I thought, but it did soak in a little bit. My hair does feel soft. But we're gonna see how it's gonna feel once I rinse it out. So this is it. So I'm going to go rinse out this deep conditioner and I'll be back. Stay tuned. Okay guys, I am back and this is what my hair looks like with no product on it at all. I rinsed out the deep conditioner. So yeah, that is it. So let me just go ahead and put it in sections and apply my leave-in to it before my cuticles close and then I'll go into um, information about the leave-in so I will at least give you the name the name is the Annabelle's moisturizing leave-in conditioner it's the white pepper lavender scent Ooh, very thin Um, feel like it's soaking right into my hair. Very light though. Very, very light. Leave in.
Okay. Okay. So let me give you my initial thoughts on the mask and the leave-in. And I'm gonna put this cap on my hair to kind of just get that leave-in to soak in while I talk to you guys. So, as you know, I said that I co-washed with the Honey Cleansing and Clarifying Co-Wash by Honey's Handmade. First time using it, I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail, but I'm gonna say I liked it. I'll give you more uh, in-depth review on that at a later date. Then I went in with the Green Tea Milk and Honey Moisturizing Mask by Annabelle. It's a perfect blend, and I used about a third of it. it has a very sweet scent. When I was rinsing this mask out, it had kind of a floral scent to me. When I was applying it to my hair, I felt like it had slipped, it was going through my strands. It had a very whipped cream consistency, very light. I don't feel like it defined my curls a lot like some um, deep conditioners do when I apply it. Set under the dryer for about 45 minutes or eight, under my heating cap for about 45 minutes with this and um, it soaked in a little bit, but as you saw when I came back, there was still a little bit of white on the outside that you can see, but not much. I mean, it did soak in some. I felt like my hair was soft, but I, I didn't feel like it was really moisturized. Not like I like my hair to feel after deep conditioning. I know you guys are gonna come for me because y'all like Annabelle's Perfect Blend. And I'm not saying that I don't like it, I'm just, Maybe I had really high expectations of it, but it didn't live up to my expectations. I'm gonna say that. My hair just didn't feel real moisturized after I came from the heat like it usually does. So I went to rinse it out. And when I rinsed it out, like I said, it um, rinsed out very well. My hair was still detangled. My hair felt soft when I was rinsing it out. It felt somewhat moisturized but I felt better. I'm gonna say that I felt better. So that's why I rushed up here to put the leave-in in before I ever even talked about the leave-in. I didn't even wanna talk about it without getting it in my hair to make it start working before my cuticles closed. So then I added the Annabelle's Moisturizing Leave-In Conditioner. It says, apply a generous amount to damp hair, paying special attention to the ends, which I did. First five ingredients is water, behentrimonium methyl sulfate, uh, cetaryl alcohol, sunflower oil, and jojoba seed oil. And then fragrance is at the end. So as you saw, it's a very watery consistency. I used about this much and now I have my cap on, letting it sink in. When I was applying it, it was soaking in. It wasn't like just sitting on top of my hair, but I didn't feel it really adding any softness from this. I mean, my hair still felt about the same as it did after I rinsed this out. Um, that's why I'm letting this sit. Hopefully it'll sink in and it'll feel differently later. Again, I didn't see feel like it was defining my curls at all. The scent is white pepper, lavender, and basically that's what it smells like. I mean, it's a good scent. It's not fruity, it's not, um, you know, cookie-ish or cake-ish or anything like that. It's just a clean scent. And what I will say is this packaging is sticky. So if your hands are wet and you're using this, it's sticky to the touch, which I thought that was a little strange. Yeah, so, so far these are just okay to me. This is my initial reaction. These are just okay to me. 
So I'm going to let this sit, the leave-in sit on my hair for a little bit. And then I'm going to style with the styling custard, but I'm going to come back in a different video to show you the styling and give you my final thoughts on all of these once I do my style video. So stay on the lookout for that. It should be coming up next. But yeah. Sorry guys, I that's just my initial review. That's just my initial review. They're okay to me. They're not what I was expecting. I had high hopes and maybe my hopes were um, too high. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. Let me know if you guys um, tried these products. Maybe not in this particular scent, but let me know if you've tried Annabelle's products. If you like them, what's your favorite? Um, if you had similar results that I'm having right now, leave all of that in the comment section below. I'd like to hear what you think of the products. And yeah, don't forget to um, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and make sure you come back for the styling portion. Until next time, thanks for watching guys, bye.